Hey everybody, um, today we're going to do a video that uh, a bunch of people have been asking me to do and uh, there's a couple reasons why I've waited so long to do this uh, but we're going to be drawing the back and as you can see on the screen here um, these two, well this is one book with two different covers uh, the one on the left here, this one was the first printing and the one on the right here, that was the second printing um, but this book here is called Figure Drawing Design and Invention uh, by Michael Hampton fantastic book. Uh, I plan on doing a video to show you guys, uh, there's another question you guys have been asking about like certain things to look at, like what books uh, uh, you should look at or that I recommend you look at for anatomy and all that cool stuff, but um, these two books right here, um, if you can find them, pick them up. I had to, uh, as weird as it sounds, from Canada, uh, on Amazon, I had to import it from Amazon.com. Amazon.ca didn't have it and they had used copies, but it was like a phenomenal price. Um, I don't know why it's going for that much, but uh, it, it's excellent book. And a lot of what I'm going to talk about is based on this kind of method, uh, in a sense. But I just wanted to get this out of the way in the beginning. Check out these books uh, for all sorts of figure drawing questions. Um, it's one of the most uh, recent books that have come out that, personally, I think are fantastic. I wish I had these are. This is probably one of the books that I wish I had started drawing from. Um, but that's not the topic of today. Today is uh, the back. And the reason why I waited to do this, uh, a couple reasons, is the back is a tricky beast. Like, even today, I still have tons of problems with it. Um, it's very difficult. Let me just bring my uh, menus back here and just get this set up. Uh, it's very tricky. Most of us, we tend to always draw our characters. And um, <laughs> let me see if I can get that back here. Uh, most of us, we tend to draw our characters. Uh, where, where's my Mega Studio? I love you, Mega Studio, disappearing on me like that. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, window. <laughs> New window? There we go. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome back. Jeez, okay, so, as you can see, I, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's as if I've never used this program before. Okay, so the back. It's a tricky beast. Tricky beast, and I'm um, never very confident in doing it. However, I have come up with some tricks and stuff that I'll show you guys. What the? What, anyways, you guys are asking for it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys anyway. So, let me just uh, get this party started here. Just get rid of um, no. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, delete. Where are you at, my friend? Clear. There you go. Okay. And I'm using Manga Studio for this. It's a little bit easier. It comes across a little bit better and easier to draw. Uh, for what we're going to be doing. So we're starting blue. Um, really quickly, let's say, I, I'm not going to get into huge dynamic things or anything like that. I'm just going to get into some basic stuff. Um, you've probably seen a lot of this in, in art books and stuff. But if we just had like a guy standing there, maybe he slouched a little bit, I like to get that this arc going right here. And what that arc is, uh, let me just make it simple so you can see, these would be where your shoulders are. Um, or if you're looking at the front of the guy, his collarbone would be like that. I just find it a little easier to think of it in terms like that. But instead of going like straight on, we're just going to add this little arch here um, and to give him just a little bit of a, a slouch. And what's really cool with this middle part is you can turn that into the, the spine. You know, it's a continuation of the spine, but you can add this little cylinder thing to it. And uh, quickly you can get a head. You know, I'm, I'm sure you guys can see what's happening here while we got this. Um, what's really cool with this little point here is you can turn this just by doing this little... Um, kind of like a spade shape. That's a shape that I've I've become used to uh, drawing, uh, and just kind of you know with the perspective here. Let me just kind of draw this in here so you can see it. This is the shape that it's going at here. Okay. Um, so with that, I mean, you could add your arms. You can you know like, oh yeah, he's dancing all that cool stuff. Um, but that's how I like to do it. Um, and and it works. Even if the guy's standing, let me do it from the side here this would be your normal way of doing it, you know, where you'd have your, your collarbone up here. But this here is the same thing as that right there. Um, and from the side, it would look something similar to this. You know, and then you'd have your, your rib cage obviously in here and all that. Um, now the question you might ask is, what is the point of this, this shape right here? Why, why even have that? Why, why not just have like a ball um, and we get the eraser here. Uh, where are we at? There we go. Uh, why not just have, uh, you know, the ball here like that? And then draw the arm over top, you know, and you can get your cylinders going just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Um, you could totally do that. 
The only reason I'm, I, I like to add this little part here, because this actually helps with the anatomy. Okay, So when you have this, you know there's certain things uh, that, that the back can and can't do. Um, just very quickly, the shoulder tends to connect back here. I'm just going to do this very, very quickly, and I'll go over it with black so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so right on the back here, it's a good little keystone, as uh, Michael likes to talk about in that book that I started off with. You know, And uh, we could get that shoulder going. And then also in the back there, uh, I believe, and, and I apologize because, um, you know, I'm getting a little rusty on my anatomy and I need to go back myself, look into this, but uh, right there, right in here, you know, like all this can sn fit in pretty snug, you know, you get your tricep going and there's some other muscles happening in there, and you know, you can get all that, um, but right here as well, right at that little pinch point, that's where your, um, oh, I always, uh, what is this muscle called? Uh, your, uh, I'm on the spot here, so I'm going to forget the actual name of the anatomy on that, but, you know, when you get a massage, or you like to give massages, that's the muscle right there. You know, it puffs up a little bit, and it connects into the neck, and this actually can kind of come in like this, you know, and what's really cool is, um, you know, if you're following the perspective on the back, you can get, you know, all, all of this in here. And what's really cool about the back is it is literally like... A, a jumbled mess of muscles that all push and pull at the same time and it's really cool to study it because you can get some really cool effects like if this guy was um, it's telling you I'll just show you um, I'm gonna keep doing this three-quarter perspective thing here for you guys because uh, to me it, it's a little bit more dynamic you know a little bit more of you know a little bit of energy in there anyway um, uh, so let's say we got here and we got our, our pelvis coming out yada 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 um, we got our neck is going to be around there somewhere. Okay, so that point, let's say you were anybody that's done any kind of weightlifting. You know that one exercise where you would grab, um, where you're sitting down and you'd have the stack of weights in front of you and you'd grab this thing that would look like uh, something like that ish. <laughs> and your hands would go in there and you'd pull the weight towards you and it's a back exercise and what you want to do is you want to uh, from what I've heard is pretend that you're squeezing a grape between your shoulder blades so if you can do that right now it actually feels pretty good you know give it you know just stretch out your muscles a little bit there and you contract those muscles back there what happens there's all of this meat you know all those muscles they start to squish on top of each other and you get some really cool effects but just to show you so let's say this guy is um, you know bringing his, his muscle or his uh, arms back like that and I'm just gonna, you know, bring in the arms here, just just for myself, and just so you guys can see what's happening here. Now, let me just lower the opacity, make it a little easier for you. All right, so we know that the shoulder here connects right back to this sucker right here and this is where you can get some artistic freedom another thing why I love comic books is you don't have to be photorealistic if there's a medium outside of animation to me that allows artistic freedom in ways that you can blow up and expand on anatomy it's comic books and that's not to that's not an excuse to have poor anat poor anatomy but the concepts and understanding of anatomy I think are very very important um, so study it as much as you can so that way you know where you can break break things or even push things to make it even though right now what I'm gonna do is probably going to be wrong realistically hopefully it looks cool artistically I have no idea what I'm talking about so let's do it <laughs> I like to draw uh, the elbow here first and then we're gonna get like this big tricep in there yeah this guy likes to work out all that stuff then you get your forearm going here um, and I'm just gonna have an idea where that muscle's going. Okay, so we know his back muscles all got to start folding up up here. So you can get this cool kind of rendering thing, which really helps sell it. You know, and then you can start doing these nice thick lines. To really start beefing it up back there, uh, which is what I'm doing right there is trying to manipulate this kind of shape. So it looks kind of like um, lips, actually. Like if you look at it from the top, you know, like if you draw a mouth or a female lip or something like that. It's kind of like that sideways in a way, except right here, it's the same thing up there. See what I'm saying right here? If I can actually here, with the miracle of digital, we are going to rotate this sucker so you can see it a little bit better. 
Oh man. There you go. Click OK. And clear. So you can kind of see what I was talking about there. See, see, look at this. The windows are all getting messed up. Uh, range palette, arrange. Okay. So you can see it right here. That helps you guys remember it anyway. So we're going to start popping up these muscles. And this is where foreshortening comes in. Excuse me. Okay, and it's actually starting to look a little bit like a mess. But then you got these big muscles that come up over the side here, the lat. And this is really the big muscle that's pulling it all together. It's going to go into the back. Uh, kind of like this. So, um, I could actually pull up an example of um, a, a thing I did for the standard, another comic I'm working on, where I, where I actually had to do this. And, and before I do that, what I will say is I don't care what anybody thinks about the next point I'm going to say. If, if you're struggling, get reference. I'm telling you right now, get reference. If you think it's going to be demeaning or um, somehow break the illusion that you're like a master artist or that if you try to get reference that you suck in some way, I've heard of this. I used to believe this in a, in a, long, a long time ago, but uh, I quickly got over that. The only reason I say that is because your art is going to suffer. If you're struggling with the back, you could grab an anatomy book. You could grab you know, something, but they might not have that angle you need, or they're, they're just not doing it in a way, you know, but if you were to look online at, like, a muscle mag, and the only reason I, I suggest you look at, you know, the steroid freaks, those huge hulks, you know, of real people, like Jay Cutler and all these types of guys, I, I recommend looking at them, even though, you know, you might be drawing Spider-Man, you know, and he's not huge like that, their muscle definition is so ridiculous that it, for me, and I would hope it works for you guys as well, it helps you visualize where the muscle would be and what the muscle would do, you know, as opposed to looking at, like, a skinny guy, uh, you know, selling t-shirts or pants, you know, like some ad you might see on on, uh, on the internet where he's got low-riding jeans, you know, and he's very skinny, and he, he probably has ab definition and the rest is, like, skin and bones. You don't see the muscles in action there, you know. Um, so that's one selling point I would have for that. Uh, let me just quickly grab this up here. Um... This is going to be off screen so you guys can't see this here. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, so we're grabbing. Okay, and let me just preview this. And then I'll just bring it on screen so you guys can see. Oh, okay, I actually got it right away. Cool. Okay, so this was a page for the standard. And as you can see here, um, I can't actually draw on it or anything, but if I had prepared this properly, <laughs> I have this in separate layers where I could turn off um, right here the cape and all that good stuff, but this was the position I was talking about where you'd fold those arms and like he's, you know, like right here what he's doing is he's squeezing the muscles back to break the chains and all that cool stuff, and right up top here, hopefully you guys can see the mouse on your screen, uh, that that muscle up at the top there, that, that muscle you'd massage or whatever, I popped it up just to give it a little extra beef, you know, and it might look wrong, and you might look at this and say it looks, you know, out of whack, um, but, but yeah, so I'm just going to see if I can zoom in just to so you can see a little bit better, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, for the thing I was trying to talk about there, and uh, one last thing, just looking at the time, I'll have to probably do this quick, um, I would highly recommend again looking at anatomy books just to understand what's going on, but... What about like a complicated shot? Uh, let's say we got like a guy. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna draw some shapes. I, I don't like to do the egg shape. Um, I would recommend it if it's easier for you. I like to try to get like the contour kind of of a shape of a person. You know, let's say this guy's flying backwards from an explosion or something. And, you know, and all I'm doing right here is I'm trying to get that that energy. I'm not really worried about the anatomy at this point. Uh, so that looks about right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start carving in, okay, where the things would be. So that would be that egg shape that I told you about there um, for the chest. And we're going to keep that perspective. You know, it's still going this way. Going on for the pelvis. Uh, you're not going to really see that butt cheek, so we'll go over here. And then what I'm doing is I'm just trying to construct it here. So a kneecap would be there. Probably have some feet sticking up that way. All right, so we're going to have a knee there going into the foot. And we'll stick that foot up here. And start doing the cylinder shapes. And his head's probably going to be getting thrown forward here. So that cylinder shape is still there. Let's 
cool. Go there with an elbow. And we'll bring that one back. All right. So we know this line comes into the back here. There's uh, we got to get those shoulder blades in there. Very important. And the shoulder blades let us do a couple things again as well, where it lets you know where your shoulders should be placed. And this is a little bit more crazy than what I showed you before, but it also gives you some placement of where those lat muscles are going to be, the ones on the side. It also helps you place uh, down here where uh, the bottom of the muscles go into the butt, and then you've got your little, that little you know, love handle muscle there, and you can probably bring in the chest and all this, you know, radical stuff there, and we'll get a little idea for the elbow, all that stuff. Now, what I would normally do is I would go over here again, and I would make sure the anatomy is looking a little, you know, it's looking right. So you got a bicep that has to be there. You get that overlap because of the shape's going like that. And the hand will probably go in there, and you know, you got your, your tricep. Yeah, we're not gonna go that. You got your shoulder, which goes into your pec muscle, your pectoral. And in here, this whole armpit area is a big mess. And I can tell you right now, this is wrong because I can. S it looks weird to me. Uh, to you guys, it might look okay, uh, but I would probably take some time to redraw this, or grab that reference, or grab a camera, take your shirt off. I don't care if you're uh, a morbidly obese person or if you're uh, Peter Parker, like we talked about. Go in front of the mirror if you got like a, a smartphone or a cell phone or some sort of camera, or hell, do it old school. Grab a sketchbook and 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 do these positions, you know. And draw it out, take a picture, bring it back, and redraw it. Nobody's got to see it but you. Okay, so we're still pulling those muscles back. And that lat is going to come in here. You know, you have your ribs and all that cool stuff going on. Going into the elbow there. And stuff like that. Um... I'm not going to get into the rest of that there, but, uh, but yeah, so I mean, maybe, the, I don't even know if that really helped you guys, but uh, let me know in the comments if this video did anything for you, uh, like I usually say with all the other anatomy ones that I plan on doing another one, and I'll eventually get to it, and so if you guys got questions that I, I know I didn't cover everything in this, I just try to show you a practical way that I like to do it, um, but please leave comments, questions, anything like that, and I'll try to get it get to it when I do another version of this video, but thanks for, so much for watching, uh, keep reading comics, keep making comics guys, and uh, please uh, rate, subscribe, and share the video, if you guys have art blogs and stuff, please share it, uh, I'm always into looking at new videos as well, so send me videos of content, and uh, let's just try to get the word out, try to help everybody out, and get a, a really cool art community going on, okay, so thanks again for watching, until next time guys, take care.